Mac Mackay started watching ships through a telescope with his father on the St. Lawrence River. As a boy, he'd capture them in drawings. When he moved to Halifax in the 1960s to study architecture, he soon found his true love. More or less got ignited uh, when I moved to Halifax to go to university and I had a port at my footstep and I could go out and see a ship every day and I uh, got more interested in what the ships were doing and where they were going, where they were from, and following them afterward. It became an enduring hobby. He was there when the new Dartmouth Ferry, launched after the second bridge was built, ran aground in the harbor. He studied Cyrillic to learn more about this Soviet ship, docked for a month to handload it with flour for Cuba. The icebreaker Louis Saint Laurent towed to safety after a fire. Two tugs rocked by high seas as they helped a container ship into the harbor. He has shot around 40,000 ships, taking more than 100,000 photos over 51 years. Halifax has everything. It has any range of commercial vessels, container ships, cargo ships, bulk carriers. Uh, it has tankers, it has naval vessels, coast guard, and then, of course, the harbor at this time of the year is full of pleasure craft as well. In the old days, he'd walk out on the piers or the many fish plants that occupied the waterfront. You know, Halifax was pretty much a small town then in some, in many ways, and the waterfront was not the most desirable part of town as it is now. Uh, nobody wanted a view of the fish plants and uh, the rundown buildings and warehouses and so on. Security is tighter now as tourism dominates the waterfront, so he relies on his favorite perch at the container pier by Point Pleasant Park. He has also gotten to know the people who work on the boats, and the write-ups beside the photos tell amazing stories. His more recent work goes to his Ship Facts blog, and he has no plans to end his harbor watch anytime soon. John Tatry, CBC News, Halifax. It's a lot of history there, yeah, isn't it? What a treasure trove of pictures. I know. Thanks for sharing, Matt.